the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, <clears throat> that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. the 
faithful death and as through stony ground the green shoots break glorious in springtime dress of leaf and flower so when the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O Lord our God, prepare our hearts to receive your visitation this night as the Son of Righteousness rises with healing in his wings as a perpetual sign of your love. Even the same, your Son Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Just as many were astonished at you, my people, so his appearance was mar more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. Thus he will sprinkle many nations. Kings will shut their mouths on account of him. For what have not been told them, they will see. And what they had not heard, they will understand. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of parched ground. He has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him, nor appearance that we should be attracted to him. He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And like one from whom men hide their face, he was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely our griefs he himself bore, and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was pierced through for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening for our well-being fell upon him. And by scourging, we are healed. All of us, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But the Lord has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the responsorial psalm, which today is Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help, and you healed me. O Lord, we have brought up my soul from Sheol. You have kept me alive that I should not go down to the peak. Sing praise to the Lord, you his godly ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, 
but a shout of joy comes in the morning. Now, Now as for me, I said, said in my prosperity, I will never be moved. O Lord, by your favor, you have made my mountain to stand strong. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, to you O Lord, I called, I called and to, to the Lord, Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. That my soul may sing praise to you and, and not be silent. silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the word of God from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2. For what credit is there if, when you sin and are harshly treated, you endure it with patience? But if, when you do what is right and suffer for it, you patiently endure it, this finds favor with God. For you have been called for this purpose, since Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example for you to follow in his steps who committed no sin, nor was any deceit found in his mouth. And while being reviled, he did not revile in return. While suffering, he uttered no threats, but kept entrusting himself to him who judges righteously. And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds... You were healed. The word of the Lord. Please stand. <coughs> And with your spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, our lips, and our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 11. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Jesus had finished giving instructions to his twelve disciples, he departed from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now when John, while imprisoned, heard of the works of Christ, he sent word to his disciples and said, and said to him, Are you the expected one, or shall we look for someone else? Jesus answered and said to them, Go and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who does not take offense at me. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
Please be seated. Jesus only spoke of one thing. He spoke of the kingdom of God. In fact, the good news is about the kingdom of God being here in our midst, right? It is here right now. And although it's not yet in its fullness, we are called to manifest it progressively until it becomes full. One day, fullness of the kingdom of God, what we call kingdom come of the, or the life of the world to come, will be here, fully manifested. And what the kingdom of God in its ideal uh, fullness is what God intended for us. What we see in Jesus is what the kingdom of God is about. Right? Uh, Jesus is the kingdom of God. He embodies it. What he is, what he does, is what the kingdom of God is about. Righteousness, justice, peace, forgiveness, faith, hope, love. All of those things, all of those uh, good things reign in that kingdom that we look forward to. Uh, Also, also abundance, abundance of material things and health. See, that's why why Jesus came, so that we, human beings, can have life in abundance. Ang, ang, ang kalooban ng Diyos, tayo magkaroon ng buhay na ma- maayos, marangya. Not just spiritually. You know, because we are human beings, we're physical, we're material beings. We need, we need also uh, our physical bodies taken care of. Our human life needs to be, uh, to prosper in spirit, soul, and body, right? That's the will of God. In the gospel today, uh, Jesus told John's disciples, this is what you see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the, <clears throat> the deaf hear, the lepers are cleansed, the lame walk, uh, the poor hear the good news. That's what the kingdom of God is about. It's about healing. It's about restoration of what has been taken from us. See, God intended from the beginning that our life is full. That's what we see in the garden, right? Bago magkaroon ng, ng kasalanan, all of these things we had. We had peace. We had harmony. We, had, we didn't have poverty, Right? There was no curses, there were only blessings in the garden of God. And then sin came. But we were taken care of. We had a full life as men in spirit and soul and in body. We had peace with, with our fellow men, had peace with God, even spiritual beings like the angels. But there was also in the garden physical, physical provisions. Why? Because we're not spiritual beings only. We are flesh and blood as well. Sabi nga nila, no? napaka-espesyal daw natin kasi uh, God in heaven, God is a spirit, and the angels are spirit. And then there's uh, the animal kingdom and uh, other beings. Yung isang, isang uh, realm is only spiritual. Yung isang realm is only physical. But we, human beings, were like a hybrid. A hybrid of the physical and the spiritual, right? Very unique. God designed us, designed us so. But that, that was the original creation. And then the fall happened, and then now we're being restored, and we look forward to being in harmony with God again. In the meantime, we live in a still imperfect world. A, a world where there are structures of sin, there's sin and evil, there's, there's poverty and sickness. 
Because the devil operates in it. Right? The devil operates in it. Tawag nga ni St. Paul sa kanya, prince of this world. He is the source of evil and the consequences of evil. Let me repeat that. The devil is the source of bad things. Not God. Not God. Ang minsan iniisip natin, lalo na kung kaaway natin, ano? siguro pinersecute tayo, kinaaway tayo, sinismis tayo, tapos nagkasakit. We used to think, I did, because I we were taught this. Ayan, kasi you touched God's anointed. Ayan nangyari sa'yo. Di ba? God put sickness on you. No, 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 no. God is never the source of anything bad. Amen. Praise God from whom only blessings flow. Only good things come from Him. He doesn't curse. He doesn't kill. He doesn't he doesn't oppress. It's the devil that does that. Sabi ni Saint ni, ni Peter, and you will hear this on Sunday, uh, first reading or second reading. Um, sa sabi niya, uh, you you know of Jesus, who was anointed by God, the Holy Spirit was with him. He went about doing good and healing all who are. Oppressed by whom? By the devil. The devil oppresses people. And then, remember this, this one woman who was bent double. Osteoporosis yata siya, kung anong problema niya, no? But she was bent double, and then Jesus ministered to her on a Sabbath, and he was criticized by, by the religious leaders, right? What did he, what did he ask? the religious leaders. Is it wrong? Is it unlawful for this woman to be healed on the Sabbath? This woman whom Satan has bound for 18 long years. Satan bound her. Satan oppressed. Satan put the sickness on her. Not God. Not God. And also remember the the parable of the wheat and the tares. The parable of the wheat and the tares says that it was an enemy who sowed the bad things, the tares, in an otherwise fruitful uh, wheat plantation. An enemy did this. So disease and sickness and, and uh, misfortune and all of those things do not come from God. Pakikalabit nga yung katabi ninyo, sabihin nyo, huwag mong isipin na ang masama galing sa Diyos. Never. Never. Lagi kong sinasabi ito, no? especially during uh, funeral masses, wag natin sabihin na kinuha na siya ni Lord. Diba? O kalooban ng Diyos na hanggang dito na lang yung buhay niya. No, no, no. God's will is for us to live forever. He designed, when He created Adam, He didn't create him to die. He created him to live. He breathed His Spirit into Him. That Spirit is the Lord of life. That Spirit gives life and doesn't kill. It's sin who kill, which kills. The wages of sin are death. But God gives the gift of life for free. Tama? So, wag not isipin, naku, Yung pinsang ko, yung kapatid ko, yung kaibigan ko, ang bait niya, di ba? Kaya kinuha ni Lord. Eh. You know? Ang bait mo naman, sana kunin ka na ni Lord. Hindi, dapat sana kunin ni, oh, hindi ni Lord, no? Ni kamatayan. <laughs> Kasi no, si kamatayan, yung wala, wala siya dapat kunin. Right? <laughs> we don't pray for anyone to die. But, see, it's, it's, it's also schizophrenic to think or to believe that God puts... Uh, sickness upon us and then we pray to him for healing <laughs> right isn't that nonsense right sipin natin oy galing kay lord 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 afflicted me with the sickness so i'll ask him to heal me that's not that's foolish 
One thing is sure, though. See, like we said, you know, in this, in this world, still imperfect, still, uh, still with sin and evil, we still experience uh, sickness. We're still short of the, the ideal life that God wants for us. But in the midst of all of this, in the face of all of this, God performs healing for our benefit. And so that He can show that His promise of eternal life coming in the future is real. He gives us a taste of it. That's one thing that's for sure, is that the Father has gladly chosen to give us the kingdom of God, where there is no more sickness, no more evil, no more sin, no more hatred, no more unforgiveness, no more violence, but only harmony and healing and abundance and peace and righteousness. He has chosen gladly to give us that kingdom. Again, our hope is to see the fullness of that one day. And it will happen. But again, the precursor to the coming of that kingdom is an experience of us, of his miracles. In, in, the, in the book of Numbers, in chapter 13, merong isang kwento dun eh, no? Nasa wilderness pa rin sila, malapit-lapit na sila sa, sa promised land, Moses sent spies. Remember the story, he sent, sent spies into the promised land and they uh, risked their lives. Take note of that. Put your, put your one finger on that. They risked their lives. See, mga higanti yung mga nandun eh, di ba? And then they went in and then what they did was in this one place which they later called Eshkol. We'll go back to that later. Uh, they, they, they got a, a cluster of grapes. So lush, so abundant, that one cluster was, uh, was to be carried by two men on a pole. Tapos meron pa silang ibang kinuhang fruits, pomegranates and something else. But <clears throat> yung eskol, kaya pala nila tinawag na eskol, yung palang ibig sabihin nun sa lingwahe nila is cluster. Meaning, uh, Singleness. Kasi ibig sabihin ng cluster, uh, isa, isang grupo, hindi divided, kasi that's the opposite of it, of it is division. But, but uh, in cluster, but not only that, but it also indicated abundance. Yung, yung, yung isang cluster ng grapes, sobrang bigat. Sipin ninyo, no? sobrang bigat. Kasa nga sa isang paper bag natin yun, di ba? Kaya natin buhatin. Pero dalawang tao ang kailangan bumuhat ng isang cluster lang ng grapes. So that shows you the abundance in the kingdom of God. Or the, the promise of God. What they did was, the, 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 the spies who went in, what they did was they, like I said, risked their lives and they got from the promised land, its fruit, and brought it back to their brothers in the wilderness. See the wilderness as the present, where it's dry, it's waterless, right? There's no abundance, there's no fruit, there's no food. Not a lot of it. And then, see Eshkol as the promised land, the life of the world to come. We, as believers, for the sake of our brothers who are still here in this yet-to-be-perfected world, tayo, because of our compassion for our brothers, we risk our lives. We sacrifice and reach into the ideal and bring back its fruit so that it benefits our brothers in the here and now. Galing, ano? Parang ano rin yan eh? Parang Eucharist eh. A Eucharist is the foretaste of the life of the world to come. Hindi lang maliit na ano yan. No? It, it's just a symbol. But hindi lang maliit. Hindi, hindi rin lang yan for our physical bodies. 
what it represents is our being one. And that's the taste of the life of the world to come. Bago tayo pumunta dyan, hindi ba, bago tayo mag-approach sa table, hindi ba nagkakaroon tayo ng peace among ourselves, between ourselves? Because that's what the kingdom of God is about. And we are to bring it here now. As we do, we hasten the coming of that kingdom. See, when we reach into the kingdom of God, and we bring it back to this fallen world, it expresses our compassion for our brothers. Diba? Sabihin natin sa mga kapatid natin, sige, kami na yung pupunta dun sa ano, land of the giants. Diba? Kami na, sige. Siguro may wild animals ninyo. We will risk our lives because we want you to benefit from its fruit. One of its fruits is healing as well. And the faith of the spies worked through love. This is the language that St. Paul uses. Faith working through love reaches into the kingdom, come, and brings it to the now. Because faith without love accomplishes nothing of value. Sabi ni St. Paul. Right? 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Even if I can do uh, lots of wonders and miracles, if I can walk on water, walk on hot coals, I can move mountains, I don't have love, then that amounts to nothing. So our faith should be working through love. When Jesus uh, taught in the synagogues and healed the sick, the people said, who is this guy? Who is this guy? What is this? A new teaching with authority. And they were awed. They were awed. Why were they awed? Because they felt the compassion of Jesus. Not like the religious leaders. Yung mga religious leaders sa kanila, they, they didn't care about their sick. Ang tingin nila dun sa may mga sakit, kadiri. Some... Ano, people who would uh, make them unclean if they touch them. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to toot my own horn, no? but because I partially did this in ignorance. Okay? You remember, all of us remember Deacon Ben Sabian, right? Uh, you know what happened. You know, you know his story, right? Early on, uh, barely a month into the pandemic, he, he was infected by coronavirus. Ako naman, kami, wala kaming kalam-alam, wala pa nagmamask nun eh. Wala pang mga tri- triage, triage nun. No? We visited him in the hospital because we, you know, we wanted to minister to him. I wanted to minister to him. And the thought that came to my mind is, I don't want this, my brother, to think that people are aloof. Ayaw, ayaw ko isipin niya na nandidiri ang tao sa kanya. So what I did was, I laid hands on him. <laughs> I did. I lay, laid hands on him. Buti na lang, nag, nag-alcohol kami pagkatapos, no? Pero, hindi ko alam, eh, no? That was a Saturday afternoon. And then, uh, uh, on my way home, I called uh, Emmy, and she, she told me, Bishop, inawakan mo si Deacon Ben? Ano ka na? Ang tawag nila doon, uh, under in, person of interest. DUI, no? PI. Person under investigation. So, hindi na ako nagmisa, no? Hindi ka na pwede magmisa, sabi niya sa akin. But, but I, I didn't ignorance. But, be, but Jesus was not afraid to touch the leper, to touch even the dead. In their law, if you touch the dead, you're, you're not allowed in the synagogue or in the temple for several days or weeks because you're now, now unclean. That's the big difference. Jesus' faith worked through love. When you try to heal somebody, pray for them and try to heal somebody, don't be concerned too much about 
your ability to think positively. Kasi yun ang tingin natin, ang faith, eh. dapat malakas ang faith ko. Yeah. Huwag ka mag-iisip na negative. I can heal this. I can, my prayer can heal this person. Be concerned more about your compassion for the person. Because the power of that love will bring healing. Much more than our ability for positive thinking. I hope you heard that. Be concerned more about your love, the benefit of the, the person th- that is in need, rather than your ability to <clears throat> summon all your faith from, your, from the inside of you. When doing good, when healing, when raising funds for a building, be conscious more of the welfare, the good that it would bring, rather than our ability to, to accomplish it. Because it is, not, it is love, not merely faith, that can move mountains. It is love, not just money, that can finish churches and buildings. It is love that will heal the sick. And we walk in love, we will be proclaiming the way it is in the kingdom of our God. Amen. Let us all stand. <clears throat> Let us name before God <clears throat> all those who uh, we have in our hearts for whom we offer our prayers. You may speak the names of anyone that you are aware of who need healing after we have finished all of these names on the list. Antonio Season Jr., Lord have mercy on them. Gloria Cabatingan, Lisa Arsenio, Elvira Brede, Teng Lara, Fer Lau, Esperanza Cese Pia, Jose Arellano, Emily Brainy, Torana Bland, Geraldine Season, Ramil Delis, Heidi Van Brussel, Susan Reynoso, Cecilia Habana, Norma Villanueva, Honorato Olaguer, Marivic Santos, Ana Emano, Salve Esmeña, Brenda Lagajeno, Vicente Domot Jr., Bong Lopez, Pelagio Malacas. Mention the names of people you know are in need of healing. Nanay Choling, Lord have mercy on her. Heal her. God, our Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, In you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. O God of all comfort, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Grant to those in mental distress your peace, which passes all understanding. And in your compassion, set them free from spiritual bondage and oppression. Perfect your strength in the lives of the suffering. And may they find your grace sufficient for them. Grand amendment of life to those who are reaping in their bodies the consequences of their sin. And mercifully bring complete healing to their spirits, soul, and bodies. O merciful Father, you said unto us, 
I am the Lord your God who heals you. Deliver us from all effects of the curse as we behold the day of your power. Almighty God, giver of life and healing and health, send your blessing on all who are sick, that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At this point, all uh, clergy would like to minister to all who are sick. So if you are sick, you have a need physically, come and we invite you to come and receive your deliverance tonight. Because God's will for you is fullness of life, in spirit, soul, and body. Amen. One day all sick, sickness will be gone. In the meantime, we will have faith. Working through love for our brothers and sisters, we will pray for you for your healing. So come forward. Uh, <clears throat> deacons, priests, would you come and let us pray for all who are in need of healing. Just, just line up in front of anyone. healing. <laughs> Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me. the 
with ours as we pray for Anthony let us combine our faith and our love for him and ask God to finally finally deliver him from this burden Amen. because the enemy has oppressed him long enough long enough and we want Anthony to be delivered from this sickness it's gone far enough God's power must manifest Amen. in this body. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we believe you when you say that your will for us is fullness of life. Amen. In our spirits, in our uh, bodies, in our souls. Here is your servant, Anthony, a warrior in the kingdom of God and in his army. Being oppressed by the devil. Lord, we ask that you free him. Deliver him, Lord, so that he can be free to worship you, to serve you. Yes, Lord. Which is his heart's desire. Yes, Lord. We ask, Lord, to unburden him. Amen. Unencumber him. And just cause him, his body to rise up and to be strengthened. Amen. So that things that you want him to do the things that he desires uh, to play in in uh, the orchestra Amen. to play music to you to praise worship you Lord. through, through you song Lord. and, and praise. music praise you lord Amen. and to do the task as uh, as staff in the church praise you, lord. and to serve his family and to provide for Amen. them and to be a witness of your greatness of your love Amen. of your compa- compassion and of your power Lord, you have fashioned this body to be the temple of Amen. your Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Lord. And the enemy has no authority over it. Amen. Amen. He has no authority in this Amen. place. Amen. Because it's the residence of God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Anthony, Amen. it is God's will that you receive healing. Amen. We, your brothers and sisters in this community, in all our love and our faith, declare God's healing Amen. upon your body. Amen. Jesus. Whatever this Amen. is, tumor, cancer, whatever it is called, Amen. It, is, it must bow its knee Amen. before Jesus and His power. Amen. Confess Him as Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer for our brother Anthony and give him peace. Give his family peace. Yes, Set him Amen. free, O oh Lord. Set him free in Jesus' name. Jesus. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You are the God that He led thee. You are the Uh, the clergy prayed for you, for your, your healing physically. I would want us to do something else, something further. I mentioned earlier, that, and I just quoted the scripture, that God's will for us is to prosper in spirit, soul, and body. We took care of the physical part. I want all of you, not just the clergy, all of us, to minister to one another. And this time, anything else that the devil oppresses us in other areas. Maybe 
people are suffering in, with their relationships. Maybe they're struggling with their, their finances. Maybe they're struggling with, with uh, I don't know, a, a, a vice or a sin, whatever. Uh, just one-on-one, -on -one, get a, just one partner, preferably somebody you don't, you don't uh, interact with often, and ask them what they need in their life. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. And then pray for them. Just a couple minutes, pray for them. Kung ano man, kasi ang will sa atin ni Lord is to be free from all of these burdens that, it's the enemy that puts those burdens on our shoulders. And they're unnecessary. And there's, sometimes there are hindrances, encumbrances uh, in front of us, and they keep us from uh, freely worshiping God, serving Him, and doing the tasks that He wants us to do. So let us pray for each other. Tonight is a night of healing. Total healing. Not just physical, but total healing. Amen. So, please, get, just get somebody. Huwag na kayo mahiya. Ang pairali niyo, huwag hiya, kundi concern and compassion. Okay? And pray for, pray for one another. Just get somebody.
in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He has blessed and made you whole. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He has blessed and made you whole. Rise and be healed. In the name of Jesus, let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. He has blessed and made you whole. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Lowly One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Heart, give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor 
in the daily office of prayer there's a, a canticle called the song of Zechariah and in that he, he expresses that the, the will of God the promise of God is that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear delivered from everything that the enemy throws at us including sickness and anxiety, and other burdens, other distractions. Sometimes we're so distracted, uh, we, we forget that it is the enemy's intention to get us out of whack, and so that we can uh, not be free in worshiping our God. May we always remember that. Minsan, nagkakaaway-away tayo dahil di natin alam. Yun pala yung tinapon ng enemy sa atin scandal or controversy or gossip or whatever. And so we must remember God's will is for us to be free from all of this so that we can have peace and serve Him without fear, without anxiety, without anything. We can be wholly, single-mindedly focused on Him. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with your always. spirit. Share God's peace with one another. Peace be with you all. Peace.
We are thankful all the time. Give thanks and express in your offerings this evening. that I
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become the blood of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we bring these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you've set before us and the furthering of your kingdom. Brothers and sisters, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who for our sins was lifted high upon the cross, <clears throat> that he might draw the whole world to himself, who by his suffering and death became the author of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. In wonder and gratitude, we join our voices with the choirs of heaven to proclaim the power of your love and to speak of our salvation in Christ. <clears throat> holy, holy, holy Lord, God of our light, heaven and earth. With your glory, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, blessed is He who love you made us for yourself and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ your only and eternal son to share our human nature to live and die as one of us to reconcile us to you the God and father of all he stretched out his arms on the cross 
and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. Please kneel. <clears throat> and so, Father, we pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people. The bread of life, the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take Eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate this memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death and His descent among the dead, proclaiming His resurrection and ascension to your right hand, and awaiting His coming in glory, and offering to you from the gifts you have given us, this bread and this cup, we give you praise as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Grant that all who share this bread and cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice to the praise of your name. Remember, Lord, your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember Craig, our patriarch, me, your servant, and all who minister in your church and teach the true faith that comes to us from the apostles. Also remember those for whom we now pray. Grant that we may find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Joseph, her husband, with patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and all the saints who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. By Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ taught us, we are bold to pray.
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under under my roof, but only say the the word, and my soul soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you, and feed on him in your hearts with thanksgiving.
millions that now live again, myriads follow in his train. Victorious Lord, victorious Lord, victorious Lord. Coming, King. with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you, as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's just remind you with, about the, the rest of the activities of Holy Week. Tomorrow, 6 p.m., we will have washing of the feet and stripping of the altar. Then Good Friday, 12 noon, uh, also, tomorrow, you can, uh, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, you can do the Stations of the Cross, which will be outside on the second floor. And then Saturday is uh, Easter Sunday, Easter Vigil at 6 p.m. Then on Easter Sunday, once again, we will have one Mass, 9 a.m., not here, but there, as we anticipate the the accomplishment of the altar that we look forward to Amen. and we desire. But tonight, remember, God's will for us is 
fullness of life. Fullness of life. Receive it. He wants you to have it. Receive it. Fullness of life in our consciences, in our minds, in our hearts, in our spirits, our souls, and our physical bodies as well. It is His will. He's chosen gladly to grant us those things. Receive it with all your heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed, given to, into the hands of sinners, suffered death upon the cross for our healing, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the things He has done with His blood. forth in the name of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen.